Hello and welcome to the Velux Sun Tunnel Skylight Installation Video. Over the course of this video, you'll learn all the steps required to properly install a Velux Sun Tunnel Skylight. Just follow along and you'll quickly see that this process is a lot easier than you think, often taking less than two hours to complete an installation. As with most building projects, you'll need to do some prep work before starting with the actual installation. From inside the attic, identify whether the roof is constructed using rafters or trusses and measure the distance between them. In most cases, trusses cannot be cut, so you'll want to pick a sun tunnel skylight size that fits between your trusses. Rafters, on the other hand, can be cut as long as they are properly reinforced. This allows you to pick from all available sun tunnel skylight sizes. While you're in the attic, inspect the area around the installation site for any obstacles that may be in the way. For example, electrical wires, ductwork, heat exchanges, and roof supports are all potential obstacles. If you plan to install an electric light kit, plan out the path for routing the wire from the kit to the power source. Be sure that your roof pitch is between 15 and 60 degrees. Installing on higher or lower roof pitches can undermine product integrity and nullify the warranty. Be sure to check the roof deck for possible obstructions. Velux also recommends keeping skylights a minimum of 24 inches away from valleys and ridges. And be sure to follow local building codes when determining distances to vent stacks. Finally, always remember to check with local building code officials for any possible code issues relating to your project. With the prep work complete, you're now ready to select the right sun tunnel skylight for your project. To do this, you need to select from a few different construction options that will impact how your sun tunnel skylight is installed. First, what type of roofing material will you be installing on? All standard Velux Sun Tunnel Skylight models are designed to work with shingle or shake roofs. However, a tile flashing kit can also be purchased for installations on tile roofs. Second, do you prefer pitched or low profile flashing? While both types provide excellent protection against leaks, pitched flashings provide more consistent lighting throughout the day. On the other hand, low profile flashings run parallel to the roof line, creating a more sleek appearance. Two low-profile glazing options are available. One is an acrylic or polycarbonate dome, and the other is an ultra-low option with a flat glass lens that only stands one inch above the plane of the roof. Third, do you prefer a rigid or flexible tunnel? Rigid tunnels provide brighter, wider light, which makes them the best choice for long tunnel runs and areas with less sunlight, such as north-facing roofs. On the other hand, flexible tunnels are easier and faster to install. The tunnel sections can literally bend around attic obstructions to maneuver through spaces not accessible to rigid tunnels. Flexible tunnels are best for areas of the country with many sunny days. Fourth, does your installation require a standard acrylic or an impact dome? Both domes are very durable and resistant to UV rays. However, Impact domes are made of a high-strength polycarbonate that makes them the logical choice for extreme weather areas such as hurricane zones. Fifth, what size sun tunnel skylight do you need for your project? This depends on many factors including where you live, how long your tunnel is, and how much light you want. With that said, as a rule of thumb, a 10-inch rigid tunnel works for areas up to 200 square feet. A 14-inch rigid tunnel works for areas up to 325 square feet. A 14-inch flexible tunnel works for areas up to 150 square feet. And a 22-inch flexible tunnel works for areas up to 325 square feet. If your room is larger than 325 square feet, you will probably want to consider using multiple sun tunnel skylights or switching to a traditional skylight installation, whichever you prefer. And finally, you should measure the attic space where you plan to complete the installation to make sure that you have enough tunnel for the job. Before beginning the installation, be sure you have all the tools necessary. The following tools and materials will be needed to complete the installation of your Velux Sun Tunnel Skylight. A hammer, Phillips head screwdriver, cordless drill, tape measure, flat pry bar, box cutter, reciprocating saw, chalk line, 
shingles, nails, felt paper, sealant, and a staple gun. With all of our pre-planning out of the way, you are now ready to begin the installation of your rigid sun tunnel skylight. Inside the room where the installation will take place, locate the general area where you want to install your sun tunnel skylight, and then push a nail or wire through the ceiling sheetrock to mark the location. Now, move up to the attic. Find the location on the roof deck directly vertical from your center point and hammer a nail to mark it both inside the attic and on the roof above. Before leaving the attic, measure the distance from your mark on the ceiling to your mark on the roof deck. This will help you determine the amount of rigid tunnel that you will need later in the installation. Now, back inside the room, locate the nail marking the center of your installation. Mark and cut the hole for your ceiling ring. You can trace the outside upper edge of the ceiling ring to determine the correct size for the hole. You may find it easier to cut out a guide at the appropriate diameter. 10 and 3 quarters of an inch for a 10 inch tunnel, 14 and 3 quarters of an inch for a 14 inch tunnel, or 22 and 3 quarters of an inch for a 22 inch tunnel. Then slip the guide over your center marker. Mark the outside of the guide and cut your hole. Next, insert the ceiling ring and secure it in place with the pre-attached fasteners. With the ceiling ring installed, it's time to head up on the roof and install the flashing. Flashing installation varies based on whether you're installing a low profile or a pitched flashing. In this video, we will be looking at the steps involved with a pitched flashing installation, while also covering the slight variations involved with a low profile installation. To begin with, locate the nail marker that you inserted earlier. Mark the area where the installation will occur. and remove all roofing material from the top half of the installation area. You'll slide the flashing over the remaining roofing materials later in the installation. With the roofing material removed, you should mark semicircles at the top and bottom of the flashing hole. The semicircles may extend to the edge of each rafter below, but be careful not to cut into the rafters. Mark a hole one half inch larger than the tunnel diameter of the sun tunnel selected. For example, for a 14 inch tunnel, you should mark a 14 and a half inch diameter. Connect these lines along the sides of the rafters to mark the rough opening for the flashing. Now you're ready to drill a starting hole and use your reciprocating saw to cut out the rough opening. As a side note, you may want to attach a board that is wider than your hole to the piece being cut out so that the wood plug inside the circle does not fall through the hole and cause damage below. This simple tip could save you a great deal of frustration. Be sure to sweep the area clean of all debris after removing the wood plug. Next, apply a solid ring of sealant completely around the rough opening. This will provide added weather protection to the flashing. Position the flashing piece on the roof deck and secure it in place with the screws provided. Be sure to also coat the screw heads with a layer of sealant to avoid any possible leaks. Finally, overlap the top flange of the flashing with underlayment to provide proper drainage. Install roofing material around the flashing, leaving a 5 8 inch gap between the underlayment and the vertical panel of the flashing.
And that's it. Your flashing is installed. If you're installing low profile flashing, you should mark a circle around your center point with a large enough diameter for a rigid tunnel to pass through. Mark a hole a half inch larger than the tunnel diameter of the sun tunnel selected. The rest of the installation is identical to the pitched flashing installation. With the flashing in place, you're now ready to install the rigid tunnel. If you haven't done so previously, measure to determine the overall tunnel length you will need. Use the FlexiLock clips to assemble your tunnel sections and elbow components. When elbows are needed, most applications work best when the elbows are placed at the top and bottom of the tunnel sections. The tunnel section can be joined to the upper collar with the FlexiLock clips. In this demonstration video, you will see only one straight section, but more may be needed if you're installing a longer tunnel. Attach the pile gasket to the bottom edge of the lower elbow and assemble the tunnel sections together. Don't tape them just yet since there may be some adjustments required later. Be sure to remove the protective film on all tunnel pieces. Back on the roof, lower the assembled tunnel into the rough opening, ensuring that the pitch adapter is at the top. Make any necessary adjustments so the tunnel will fit properly. Once you have confirmed that the tunnel section will fit properly, Proceed with taping all the tunnel seams and then reinsert. Position the dome on the flashing and secure it in place with the screws provided. Now you're ready to add the finishing touches. From inside the room, secure the tunnel to the ceiling ring assembly with the screws provided. Install the diffuser with a frosted prismatic side facing down and secure it by rotating the plastic locks into the lock position. Install the trim ring by centering it under the ceiling ring and lining up the tabs with the notches. Push upward and rotate to secure the trim ring. All that's left is to ensure the insulation in the attic is pushed around the tunnel and diffuser assembly. And that's it. Your VLUX Sun Tunnel Skylight is installed. Here's a look back at what we've accomplished. First, we prepared the site for installation. And then we selected our VLUX Sun Tunnel flashing, tunnel, and size. Next, we measured and cut the roof opening and installed the flashing. After that, we assembled and installed the tunnel, and then completed the project by finishing the interior. You can learn more about VLUX products and accessories by visiting our website, VLUXUSA.com.